Uh, what's going on, people? It's Cyclone, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a stream, so it's Saturday night. Let's go. And we're going to be playing my main character tonight, Shane and Orox. So it's all about Shane tonight. Well, let's see how we do. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good weekend. I've I've taken a little I took like a week off from Battleborn, but I am hopping back in and uh let's see how it goes. Oh god, Vagrant Sun off the bat. That's tough. That's very tough. Not sure we have a chance here with uh Vagrant on the other team. It's gonna be a... Uh, Oh, we already have someone who left. Okay, so we've—I think we've been spared the the, the fate. The game Act, I think, is a pretty good player. Uh, I could be wrong. Art is fun. For those of you watching the stream and don't know Vagrant, he's uh, one of the big-time players. Uh, he's been around since launch, and uh, I'll just say that one time I played with him, and he went 25-0 and 0 as Cleese. I'll just say that, you know? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he knows what he's doing. The person who left just spared us uh, a lot of pain. Unless we get them again. We might get them again. I mean, I don't care. I'm playing. I'm just playing. I don't really care. I want to give you guys some entertainment. Using using the best dynamic duo in the in the universe. Oh, Roy Boy. Okay, the Fox. Okay, we got some we got some good players over there. Oh. And we don't have incursion. Okay. So, yeah, 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 Roy Boy, Killing Fox. All right, this should be a little sweaty. This match right off the bat, I gotta get warmed up. I haven't played in a, about a week, I think. So, let's do this. Oh, is that Mexican Cheeto? Is that is that is that you, Cheeto? Ah, uh, yeah, man, I remember back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you were a Benedict monster, Benedict. Yeah. Oh man, I the con. The, it's amazing the PS4 community is keeping this game alive. It's kind of amazing, actually. Uh, I mean, it's hang it's hanging on. Oh, absolutely, I agree with that statement. Uh, there are some other great Benedicts, but you were uh, you hit the Hawkeye all the time, man. He was very scary with the Hawkeye. Oh yeah, no, no problemo. No, no, no piquito español. No, uh, uh, piquito, piquito. Oh, so Shen Eorox, uh, 
Oh, to tomorrow? Oh. Manana. Oh boy, see mañana. Ah, cool. Muy bien. Tú uh, es, uh, what is it? Is it jue uh, juegos? Tú juegos. Uh, Benedict. Yes, uh, juego is play, uh, is it? Or is that just for sports? Okay, there. Uh, okay, we got incursion. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. I'm gonna be very, very tired after this match. This is this is a. Con Con Benedict. Yo, yo, uh, juego Shaney Orox, y, uh, yo, 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 yo uso el dragón, uh, recently I love, me, gu me gusta mucho, el dragón. Oh, I love it, ah! <laughs> It's very fun. All right, let's do this. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Let's go. I'm very, very... Uh, I know this match is going to be brutal. It's going to be very brutal. Uh, see if I can use fetch. Grab him. Don't like that pick at all. Why are you going Reyna? Oh, come on. Oh, see. Sí. Destructivo. El Dragon con Miko. Atticus con Miko. Montana con Miko. Ombra. What are we doing here? Ombra. Oh, oh, oh. What is this comp? Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no. Reyna and Ombra. And Pendles. And Marquis. What is this combination? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, they're Ombra and Pendle. Uh, then, uh, uh, for say, Kelvin. Completely nullify our pendles. Pendles is useless. Hit me. Go for the Fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the enemy. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Me gusta. The comp. I don't. No me gusta. Uh, Ambra e uh, Reina. Donde? I uh, no no me gusta. Like Pendles. No me gusta. Minion fabrication initialized. Get ready. Help me take him out and you can have all a wave of the shards you can deploy. eat. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not yellow barring, but they are. Uh, 
Oh, man. See, si, armbrest is good. See. Si. But con Reina, Reina is no, no importante. Reina is. Ah. Could be ultra character. Oh my god! Reina is no bueno. I uh, I need shards. See ah. Oi, 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 oi. Mm. I uh, maybe, yeah. A piquito. Battleborn tomorrow, maybe. I'm very busy. Very. Mucho trabajo. Mucho. That's helpful. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Okay. Got her. Oh boy. Gracias. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, that would have been a kill. Mm. That would have been a kill. I need to get more shards and then maybe actually do some damage here. Ah, uh, see ya. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Good job, Ombra. Our minions are getting crushed. Defend them. Ah, stupid. Ok. 
Okay, so. A friendly sentry is under attack. Allies are engaged with small Uh, we we're screwed here. This comp is a joke, so there's really nothing we can do. I mean, Arena and Marquis and Ombra. I don't know what this is. Our Ombra is dying way too much. Owen two. He can't go into his Ombra now. There we go. There we go. There we go, go, go. Oh, frickin' minions! Oh! You suck! Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Okay. Ombra is not good! Oh my goodness! Why does Ombra keep going up the middle, up front? Why is she not healing us? Ombra! So you gotta let us take the front, girl! Defended. 
That was a good play, Ombra. That was good. All right, I have to stun somebody when the bot is there. This is where it would have been helpful to have a different character than Reyna. Oh, what the hell was that? There was a fucking lag! Ombra, get out! Run away! Oh, Ombra's toast. I can't even go in there. What is our Ombra doing? Ombra's dead again. Who? Ombra, Mario, oh, you gotta stop dying. Oh, and five. Oh, oh, she just keeps running in trying to slam people. That's not how you play Ombra. Nice waste of that. What are you doing? Oh my god, she's dead. It's hopeless. Hopeless. It's really rough without having a healer. The only way I can really keep this up is continuing to have shards for the fat bot. Oh, there's our Ombra. This, this comp is so painful. It's so painful. And I'm gonna keep ourselves uh, supplied here. And I'm gonna get another fat bot. More fat bots than I can fucking handle.
Ay, ay, ay. This comp was horrible. Was, we tried our best. It's, it's hopeless. What a terrible comp that was. Note to players out there. Don't pick Reyna, Pendles on the same team. Just don't do it. There's no purpose. I mean, we didn't have... A team. It was just a bunch of random players. The Ombra tried to solo dive and continually got killed, so she was useless. Right, we're getting out of here. So, note to, note to self: if you're an Ombra, stay alive. Provide sunspots every 15 seconds. Stay alive. Don't run in trying to solo the front line. Um, when you're a healer in general, you should not be on the front line like that unless you are certain that your teammates are with you. If you see that you've got your, uh, you know, your offense character or your Kelvin is sublimating and going to set up CC, yeah, you can go in and provide some coverage. That Ombra was trying to go in solo and just dying. So we were, we were hopeless after that point. Um... We damaged our sentry. That was nice. Uh, FYI, I was not expecting a win there at all. So let's uh, let's see if matchmaking will be more kind to us. Maybe it shall be. <clears throat> uh, no, absolutely not. Let's try that again. Did you guys see what their team comp was? It was perfect. Kelvin, Oscar Mike, Galt, Shane, and Ombra. Perfect comp. Absolutely perfect. First of all, you have some meta characters like Oscar Mike and Galt and Kelvin. They're all top tier. Um, and then you have Ombra, who's in the right hands, very competent, very good. Our Ombra was... was Doo doo, unfortunately, but that's the difference. The team we had didn't have any cohesion. We didn't have the characters in the right place. So if you're new to the game, you want a team comp where all the characters complement their roles. So you want a tank, you want uh, a ranged attacker, you want a melee attacker, you want people to deal the damage up close, people to deal damage far away, and you need the healer, um, and then kind of. Uh, you should have a character that's really good for setup. So they had Kelvin, and for our team, it was me on setup. The problem is, our Ombra kept dying, so I couldn't survive a lot of my setup there. So that's where the healer is so important. 
especially in a good when you're playing high level. The healer should always wait for the initiation and then try to heal the person doing their initiation. So if you see someone run in, follow up with a heal so you can get them out of danger. Okay. What do we got? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. No, I'm not. Oh, Joby. Oh, I, Joby's my dude. Joby. Joby actually was featured in my last montage. <laughs> He's a Miko. Um, I don't know who those Mevius and uh, Mac Dog. I don't know who they are. Is Dedalk the Ombra? Hold up. I love... Joby's my dude, but like... No, it was Mimic... It, oh. Okay, that person's gone. Okay. Whew. No offense, but that Ombra was uh, one of the worst in a while. Like, don't run to your death, please. Please, I beg you. Healers should never front line like that. Okay. Okay. Mustachios. Okay. All right. Let's do this shit. Of course, no incursion. I'll take I'll take meltdown. I'll take meltdown. Okay, let's do it. Unless somebody quits. <laughs> About 50% of the time in Meltdown, people leave. Because they want to play Incursion. And then Gearbox will never admit that people just want Incursion. So, they're going to keep the other game modes around. Because they made them and they want to they wanna push them. That's fine. But put them in a separate, put them in a separate uh, queue. Uh... Trust me, if there was an incursion-only lobby, it would be great. So I could just play the, uh, play the true game mode. Alrighty, round two. We got a we got a uh, better shot now. We got Joby. Joby's a cool dude. Cool dude. Featured in my last montage with the Miko. <laughs> It's fun. Mustachio doesn't usually play uh, Montana or Caldarius. Uh, I'm forgetting who Mustachio usually plays. Okay. Mustachio. Oscar, Mike, that's really scary. Okay, we have no healer, but on Meltdown, that's not as critical. Although, they can still be quite useful. Especially when they have an Oscar, Mike, a Pendles, and a Dragon, who can all ambush the hell out of their opponents. Um, Wrath, and, Wrath and Deandy are going to have work cut out for them. I have to... I have to save... Our teammates definitely gonna go stun here with the, the fetch. That's that's definitely happening, and uh, I gotta I gotta act as the meat shield here. I gotta get in the way of all their ambushing because Dragon Pendles Mike, they can all ambush very well. So I gotta try and stun their ass and stop them from getting too much offense, especially Mike. Woo! Oh, 
bay doors opening in all right three two one joby let's do it <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, the Andy's with me. Okay. Okay, we got points. We got points, and DeAndy's really going to town and uh, helping. Okay, we're really going to town here. Stop calling me that. Oh, darn it. That's okay, we're taking a big lead here on the points, and I got my shards, that's good. Okay. Dandy is holding her own. They're very... They're insistent on this side. Oh! Nice play! Uh, you got the free version with the online only? You should be able to play on multiplayer, yeah. You, you, um... Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That was nice. There we go. Set up city. Joby, let's go, Joby. That friggin' turret! And Mike is kicking my butt! Oh! Mike is the problem. Mike is a big problem. We gotta kill Mike. You think we're screwing around? Because we're totally not! Well, there it goes, Mike. Nice. Well, dude, it's a it's a it's a very fun game. Um, if you're if you're looking to learn the game, I suggest uh, well, you can watch players like me. There's tons of YouTube videos on Battleborn uh, where we go over how the game works. Uh, but I definitely recommend you pra you play a little bit of the single player first. That's a great way. Uh, the thing is, you have to pay for... You have to actually buy the game for single player. So if you just want to learn... I think you have Bots Battle available to you. So you play against the CPU. And, you know, they're not they're not as good as human players. So it's a good way to kind of feel the game. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Scare him away. I'm gonna get some shards. Um, do you have any idea what character you want to play? Have you have you looked at the roster?
There we go. We're doing very well. As you can see, the scoreboard up top. 140 to 16. We're outscoring them. Giant minion deployed. Shepherd it to our altar. This, this turret is so annoying. Okay, that was amazing. I thought I had pushed him off, but he actually survived. Delayed reaction! I'm running away now. I'm running away now. I also heard that with the free trial, it rotates. Yes! Correct. So you get, I think it's five characters each week to try out. Gives you a good sense of uh, who you might want to play as. There's an invisible Pendles. Uh, you see that guy, that, the snake guy on their team, the top player. That's Pendles. He's invisible. And when he attacks, he shows himself. But he's very fast when he's invisible, so you gotta wait till he tries to attack and then use like a stun move on him. Okay, I've been building up my shards so I can just start summoning these guys. Whoop! Giant minion moving out. Bring it to Minrek. We've spawned a giant minion. See it safely to our altar. There we go. So I think Pendles is trying to hurt me. Minrek is pleased. Minion altars relocating. Here comes El Drago, the melee character. You can unlock them with in-game credits, yeah. I think you can do that. Uh, Mike is still alive! Oh my god! Oh, Joby with a save! Where did I go? There's Mike, I gotta get out. He's strong. I'm dead. Kodarik, what's up, bro? Happy Saturday. Yo, Hippo, uh, Kodarik is a, is a long-time player. He, he knows some cool stuff, too. But you just got the uh, free trial, so... The character I'm playing right now 
is Shane and Aurox, and she is a kind of an ambush. She's kind of interesting. She's a initiator, so she like kind of pushes the offense, but she's really a tank and a stealth character kind of wrapped into one. So she has like tankiness and shield mechanics. Oh yeah, heck yeah, Koderik. But she's also an assassin. So she's a tank and an assassin. How did that Pendles get away? Lucky! That Pendles is... Oh, wow. That was an amazing escape. Good job, Dandy! Oh! Yikes. Hell, Dragon is scary when he uses his ultimate. Uh, she's actually one of the most balanced characters in the game. She's definitely good, though. Uh, she's... But she's not, like, the best tank is arguably Kelvin. Kelvin is a big rock guy, and he can stun a lot of people with his ability. That's a stun right there. I just, I, I incapacitated the enemy and they couldn't move. That's called the stun. Some characters can stun with their skills. Uh, Kelvin can stun the whole team with his, one of his abilities. So he's very strong. To compensate for Shane's ability, she doesn't do a lot of damage. Hey, Mike. Um, you can... But yes, you can unlock individual characters, and I think it's with credits. That you are, but I'm not sure about that. I, I might be wrong on that one. Coderick, do you know if uh, the free trial players can can do that? That was nasty, unfortunately. Yes, you will. Yeah, I forget, unfortunately, but if you go, you can look it up online, man, and you can figure out if uh, you're able to get those characters individually in the free version. But yeah, every week, every week you'll get uh, a new rotation. And then I think on the Battleborn forums they have guides on every character. Oh, 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 dragon, dragon, dragon. Oh, dragon, oh, meteor. Oh, no, no, no. I have no ability to save me. That's why I go defensive gear. That's why that's why I do it, folks. I want to survive. Oh, no! Galt! Oh! Oh, Galt's gone. Darn it. That's why we've been losing. Gosh, I, I, I was like, something feels off here. We don't have a Galt anymore. Galt would be super helpful right now. He could, he could yank that dragon away. He could slow him down with traps. Okay, now, now I get it. Oh, God. 
Time to start going summon spam. We gotta, we gotta summon those fat bots. I'm gonna do the right one first to try and distract them, and then I'll summon the left one a little bit later. Oh, Ombra's smart. See that Ombra? She's saying back there, if I tried to do an ambush, she would heal her team. Very smart. Mike is so powerful, man. Oh, Oscar Mike, Oscar Mike. All right, now I'm doing this one. We've spawned a giant minion. See it safely to our altar. Nobody warned you. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm running. was a dead dragon right there. Oh my goodness. See, my fat bot did its job there. I, I knew it was like, I had to wait. Right, I have an idea. I have an idea. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. But first, I definitely want to get rid of this. <laughs> you are over. I want to get rid of that friggin thing. Okay, okay. I was getting a little scared there. Alright, now I can go summon another fat bot. Oh, man. Oh, good. So, yeah, you can earn the characters with in-game credits if you play. Or you can spend actual money with Platinum, but... You know, I would say play a multiplayer. It'll take a while to get, I think it's like 40-something thousand credits. It's gonna take you a little time, but that's the whole point if you're starting out. You know, get a feel for a character research. Definitely go online and research them, though. And we're not going to win this match. Oscar Mike has become too powerful with his ultimate. Oscar Mike is considered the most powerful character in the game in lots of in lots of ways right now. So actually, if you want to learn Oscar Mike Hippo, he's a great starter character because he's just like an FPS. You know, he shoots a gun. Oh, hell no. I'm not taking on the dragon by myself right now. Oh! That was a corner attempt right there, and if... We had the right teammate, that could have been fun. Thank you. 
Oh, come on, give me that kill. Wah, wah. We can't win this match, unfortunately. I have... I mean, mm. No. Melka Mike is a scary combo. Because Melka can sustain your shield damage, and Mike can just wreck you. Absolutely wreck you. And they're staying together, they're smart. Uh, there's nothing we can do, unfortunately. Marquis is good. Um, you like sniping? He's a sniper, and he can slow people down. So you, um, you basically can create these bubbles that slow people down. And these owls that can kind of, like, attack people that get too close to you. But he's definitely a sniper, so if you like snipers... Yo, Galt! Fuck! It's over. Yeah, I can. Yeah, nah. Couldn't really do much. Mike started destroying us. And without that Galt, we were in trouble. So yeah, Marquis is... I'm not, I'm not a Marquis player, uh, but I... I know what he does, pretty much. So if you like sniping, obviously he's a sniper. So think about that. Long range, primarily. Using his owls can slow people down. So he can do a little bit of crowd control, too. Doesn't have a lot of health. Like he'll get to, if if you get hit by a, a melee character, you're in, you're in trouble. You got to get out of there. So use the bubble to escape. But yeah, give him a, give him a world. And if you really like him, I'd say just get just play play one character. And if you don't like it, switch. But get comfortable get comfortable with one character. Is my advice. So Marquis, let me let me show you Marquis here. I don't again, I don't play Marquis, but I know stuff about him. So I don't have like I don't have all of his helix options. Every character has a helix option, right? So you have a every character ranks up in a match, right? And uh, they're gonna get these abilities on their tree, and you can pick one or the other. So, to start, Marquis is a sniper, and you can read over these things about him, right? You have, uh, Ein Swine Die. Coderick loves Isaac. He's also kind of a sniper tank. He's, he's awesome. But he's more of a tank. So if you, if you like a tanky role, because Marquis is purely a sniper. Like, there's no... He doesn't have a lot of survivability. Totally a sniper. Marquis is like... He, I mean, uh, Isaac like, has shields. He's a big robot guy. But again, this is Marquis. So if you're interested, read up on him. You can go, go to the uh, Battleborn forum, and there's going to be... You can find some threads about Marquis and playing him. His ultimate shoots this giant laser beam. It can, like, go through walls sometimes, too. So that's fun. <laughs> so there's there's Marquis. Uh, Isaac is Coderick, uh, Coderick's uh, bay over here. Isaac. <laughs> Isaac is this big robot guy, right? Big robot with a skeleton inside. Kind of cool, right? Like, He's actually part of the campaign, so as you're a free player, you're not going to have that. But he, he's a part of the um, single-player stuff, too. He's one of the bosses you actually fight against. But Isaac has this cool thing where his primary shots, you can hold down, you can hold down the trigger to increase the power. And then you can release this big, big, like, energy charge. It's almost like, um, if you ever played Samus, like in Metroid, or... Uh, you know, like the um, energy pistol in Halo. 
It's like the energy pistol kind of, but it shoots these like turret shots instead. Um, but he's really cool too. Oh my god, stop leaving. Who's the water girl? That's Alani. I don't recommend you use Alani as a beginner. Uh, I mean, you can use anybody technically, but Alani is a very... You have to know the game to play Alani effectively, in my opinion. Because... She's, first of all, she has a mechanic where you have to build up her own power first, and then her heals have these target... You have to target her heals and her abilities um, very, very clearly. So if you miss, you're not... You're going to be a less useful Alani. So Alani Alani's kind of tough for a beginner, I'd say. But again, if you want to go in and, and, and try her, go for it. I'm not saying don't play anybody. I'm just um, saying if you want to learn the game with a little bit more of a clear path. Because <laughs> Alani herself requires some things to learn, too. But she's awesome, man. Alani, Alani is, is dope. I used, to, I used to play her a lot, and then I kind of went to Ombra for my healer. But I, I still like Alani. Okay, maybe we can get a match now. Oh, no, this is the one where he quit. That's right. Forget it. Sorry. This is Alani. This is Alani's abilities. You can throw out this wave. You can raise this geyser. You heal people with your left trigger. Um, her, her primary attack empowers her healing. So the more you hit with her primary, the more powerful her healing. So that's kind of like why... And her moves require some aiming and some timing. So, you know, if you if you want to practice with Alani first on like bots battle, I recommend it. This is the healer I play, Ombra. She's like an AOE healer, and uh, she also has a slam as one of her upgradable abilities, and that's a lot of fun. I love I love the slam. Welcome to the slam. <laughs> to the gym. All right. Refresh. All right, let's see who uh, who else. Hippo. Anybody else interests you? Because you you like Marquis. That's a sniper. Is there? And you like a lot. You think Alani looks cool. Anyone else? Anyone else you wanna you wanna look over? Yeah, yo, welcome, man. I heard I heard about Paladins. I heard it was a really fun game too. Um, you know, Battleborn's always been. Uh, a, a, a neglected game by a lot of people, but it's actually a lot of fun, and the people who do play it are really into it. The people who stay around, like me, <laughs> we really like this game. It's a lot of fun. It can kind of get chaotic at times. It can be wacky and like crazy things can happen because you know there's so many big abilities going on. The old dude, oh Cleese, oh you. You, 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 and the the old dude, I like the, all the caps, man. He, Cleese. Cleese is very cool. Kind of tricky to use uh, at first, but he's really cool. And he's also like, you don't, you have, his, his healing is kind of intuitive after you get it down. You just throw down these, um, these rifts, the energy rifts, and they will have an AOE heal on the shield. They don't heal health. They heal the shields. Uh, so, for example, let's say that your teammates pick Eldred. Like, um, Alani as an Eldred. They don't have shields. So, Cleese is not the best choice if your team is going Eldred. But Cleese is very good for anything else. 
you know, he uh, he is the one thing about Cleese though is that he's pretty slow, doesn't really have an escape option, and can be overwhelmed if you're going against good players. Good players are going to target you severely if you're playing Cleese. No man, you're in this. You're in the Shane stream, boy. Skull is pissed, but bro, you're in the Shane stream, boy. I'm sorry. I'll pick anybody else. This guy. This guy really, really wants Shane. Just, no man, you bro. You ain't getting Shane, son. You playing in the Shane stream? I'll play Shane good for you. I have a stream, bro. You gotta be quick on the trigger finger. Oh. Um, I don't, you never know who's out there, bro. You just, you just don't know. I can't say that anyone's the best at anything in, in reality because there's always going to be that guy in the background that never plays who's a master. Um, but I, pl I play a lot of Shane. I play, I play a lot of Shane. <laughs> I, uh, Hippo, the way I, the, Beatrix... Oh, Beatrix, I recommend you practice other characters first. Beatrix is very technical. And she you really need to know the game and the other characters of Beatrix. Um, because she's a target... He, uh, target um, she's a, she debuffs the enemies. And then she can kind of give your allies attack speed. So, she's kind of... Tricky. I don't recommend you start with Beatrix. And she has no escape option either. You're you're kind of on your own. You can use uh you can use your one of your skills to make yourself more powerful, but you can't you can't like I can use invisibility with Shane. I can give myself a shield. You know, I'm when I do that, I can get away, but but Beatrix, nope. Beatrix and she has very low health. Now because Coderick said that, I'm going to miss all of my fetches. I'm going to miss everything. Our minions are moving toward the objective. Yo, this dude's pissed that I got Shane. If you're going to pick Shane, pick her. Pick her. Don't just, don't just uh, hover. you got to learn that early on. When you're online, just pick the freaking character. Don't, don't, uh, don't delay if you really want it. That's Thorn, she's really good, but very advanced, too. That Shane picked me off perfectly there and disabled my fetch. That was very well done. I commend you. We're in trouble over here. We need some assistance. Ah, eh, you missed. I just need some help. I need help! No, Abra! Please, don't... Die. All the Abras today have been dying. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me that's the same Abra. It's not. Yo, I made that guy quit because he's a loser. Bro, come on. Don't quit like that. Okay, okay. Atticus is great. This Shane's pretty good. We're not getting anywhere.
That's how your body blo- Sorry, I'm still recovering from whooping cough. It's brutal. Don't ever get whooping cough. It's horrible. Oh, what happened there? <clears throat> Melka's cool. Melka, Melka's um, a jumping bean. She's uh, very mobile. And if you get good with her rhythm and her movement, she's very hard to kill. So you can evade a lot of attacks and stuff. Atticus would be a great starting character, because he just has so much health and you can survive with him. Holy shit, did you see that? Oh, he went through the thing. That was awesome. Mar Marquis, just run away. Just run away, dude. Just run away. Just, just, just run. Go back to TP, man. Or just go over there and not get healed. That's okay, I guess. That Mike was supposed to move over, and he didn't. He didn't do what I wanted. Somebody take care of that. Atticus is dope, man. Atticus is a big brawler who punches people in the face and can jump away really fast. That's kind of what you need to know with him. And then you also can learn that he has a charge punch and um, he has an ability that electrifies his body and does additional damage. You have a healing station. I can't do anything to you. Damn it. I'm really just playing around these guys. I don't care. And again. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Galileo's just chilling over here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Melee. Yeah, melee can frustrate you if you're new. I think Mike is a great starting point for people who are used to Call of Duty.
Try out, I mean, Hippo, if, if you see the rotation, try, if you have access to a melee character and a ranged character, try, try a little bit of everything and see if anything starts clicking with you. Like, I've always preferred melee characters to shooters, just in general. I always like getting up close and personal. Now you have the healing station. Oh, what a surprise. Marquee, take out their healing station. And then snipe their turret. Marquee, snipe it. There you go, there you go. That's how you work it. Now we can get this thorn. This thorn is in big trouble. Oh my god, where'd Marquee go? Oh, he's dead. Marquee died. No, the dragon. I made this guy. I made that guy stop playing. He's hilarious because I picked Shane. Wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm here, man. You, no worries. Shoot the shepherd bot. Come on, guys. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, I got some currency. A lot of, um, a lot of weird matchups tonight. People quitting, bad players. Not much I can do. Koderick, if you're up for it, we can play a little later. Maybe get some wins. Oh, that's scary, that's scary, that's scary, 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 scary. Let's go! I tried. Yeah, for any new players, definitely. I mean, you look around, you see who you like. 
you'll fit you'll find a playstyle that kind of works and then you'll kind of see what type of character that is And then you'll just uh, start enjoying the characters you want to enjoy. Yeah, taunt me a little prick. Oh, I'm bro. No! Team done. No, oh, Mike is shooting my butt. The finale has begun. Ultra minions have spawned. That's not me. Oh. Yeah, hippo, no problem, bro. Welcome to the community. You'll find people like me on PS4 streaming. If you do go online, you might fight some really good players and you might get corner destroyed, but you know, there are other players out there who are here to have fun and help you out. Yeah, no. Nah. Nope! This dude is uh, gonna be blocked because he's a prick. Um, decided to be a little brat and not play. Block you! Don't do that crap. Don't, don't be like that, bruh. I don't like when players do that. They, 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 you know, don't help the team because they don't get their way. That's, that's baby, that's baby stuff. Babies. I have characters that I want to play get picked all the time. It happens. Jeez. All right, let's, uh, oh, sheesh, let's see what we get for matchmaking now. Anything good? Come on. No more of this crap. I get, pa I get paired with, um, <laughs> I usually get paired on the losing teams. It just it feels like when I solo queue, I, I get, I get, I get bad players. Yeah, um, I do remember that, like, you had to have, you had to have your finger on the trigger when they released Alani for the first time, or any of them, yeah, Pendles, oh my gosh, Pendles when I might get enough credits within the night to open up a loot pack or a Magnus pack. Uh, uh, oh, I have so much work to do tomorrow. It's going to be brutal. I'm going to get up early.
who are these people? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. No! I'm sorry, but like, oh, it's like the same. Oh, wait, is that the fool? Do I know that guy? The fool. I mean, the retired retired is a good low, uh, a good icon to have. Uh, I don't even know who are the other people. I don't know. Um, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. It could be a good time for all I know. Okay. I'll take a 140. <laughs> Over a 35. Well, I get 35s a lot. I get, you know, rank 13s, 35. What are we working? What are we working with? 147. Ooh. Oh, almost everybody was over 100. What are we dealing with? Okay, two, oh, 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 do you guys know how to play Echelon? <laughs> could it be, guys, could it be that we have competent players? No. That's, that's not terrible. Phoebe can do work on this map. Phoebe can clump people together at the stairs and just completely wreck them. Alani can... Oh, you have the Magnus Alani, you lucky... Mm, I love that skin. I think that's... Is that the Magnus Alani, or is that the... I think that is the Magnus. That's not the orange, is it? No. I think that's the Magnus Alani skin. Oh, that's Beast. Damn, son. I don't think I've ever seen anybody wear the Alani Magnus. Yeah, but it could be orange. That's Yeah, maybe it is the orange one. Oh, yeah, I think it's the orange skin. Escort minions to enemy sentries to strip away their shields and leave them vulnerable to attack. Oh. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. That's what I thought, man. I love that free. That's that's one I really want. I'll start playing Alani again. I have one of the best comebacks in the history of this game with Alani. Oh, you of course you have a coterie. No, the sash is not green for Magnus. It's uh, yellow or orange. Coderick always has the skins I'm looking for. Oh, I thought I could grab them. That was just a YOLO. Or sorry, YOPO. You only pull once. We have a lot of range on our team. Ooh, Toby, 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 Toby. Oh! Allied minions have been decimated. Escort them to their objectives. Mm. Hey, Toby, hey, Toby, hey, Toby. Oh, you, oh, that's right, you like the Isaac Berry. But you have the you have the Kelvin and the Alani. That those are two I want on my list. 
Toby. Who is Toby? He has a, he has a sense for this game. Oh yeah, I think he's one of the 150s. Yep, yep. All right, I'm gonna focus on minion lane a little bit, level up, get the shards up, try and hold line, and uh, not worry too much because they have a lot of um, sustained range as well. So it's kind of a dead heat. Stop shooting me! Stop that! Yo, we gotta take care of that Toby shield. Toby spotted. Whenever you're playing against Toby, you need to take care of that shield. I can't get to it because nobody's focusing on that shield. Friggin' Montana. Go. Finally got a kill for the match. My god. I was just waiting. This is what we call a, 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 a stalemate because both teams have a similar focus on their comp range. Lots of range. Shield down. The friggin' oh, I tried. Mercenaries are available. Oh, my goodness! I just a little too far. I should have read that. My goodness. like this match. Both teams have a similar comp. Both teams have similar skill levels, it seems like. Ultimates are going to make a, a, a factor here. Enemies have engaged a mercenary camp. 
Oh, good job. Use the double jump just the right way. No, you're not shooting Alani. No, no chance in hell. Get rid of that wall, get rid of that Toby wall! Go kill that Montana. Go kill that Montana! Oh, it failed again? Oh my goodness. Unattended minions make easy targets. Watch over them. Take their shields down. Oh my goodness! Be careful, Lani.
Oh, Tommy! That Toby knows what he's doing. That Toby knows what he is doing. Oh, is it legendary Toby too? Oh man. Our offense is not cutting the mustard. Our offense needs to do more. I got a surprise for you. I mean, it's a tough comp. We got to break through their. Uh, we got to break through, but. Uh, Phoebe and Marquis are the offense of this team, so we need to, we need to figure this out. Shoot him! Heal me! There we go! Good job! All right, let's go. Oh my god, triple chain, qu quadruple chain. I got chained like eight times there. Ultimate might change the tide of this battle a little bit. Uh, I wish Marquis. I wish Marquis had some kills. He has three assists. You know. Contract That's good. Tis tis good. One of our centers is under attack. There we go. Slowly but surely, let's break them down, boys and girls. Hired muscle at this location. Our enemies are attacking a mercenary camp. Oh, I, I, I see a play. I see a play. I definitely see a play. Ooh. Phoebe, that was exactly what you had to do. Death machine. Outcast thralls available for hire. Behold, a piece of us. Minions. Stop them. Allies are attacking a small mercenary 
Ugh. Nice. Shooting that wall. Good shit. Good shit. Good uh, shit. Oh, this is a very hard comp for Shane to deal with. A lot of ranged DPS on the other team. I'm a big ass target. I'm gonna try and cripple. Outcast thralls detected. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh! We lost the we lost the minions because no one paid attention. Mercenaries contracted by the enemy. Unreal. Where was everybody there? Come on, they could have shot that friggin' minion and we could have gotten them. Now they got them. We have a lot of DPS on our team. Let me see if I can get a thrall. Oh my god, it. Get that friggin' Isaac. Yeah. Or has it been a while since we've witnessed violence that will 
will never be able to unsee. Let me take care of that. <laughs> they have a very annoying comp. They, this is a very challenging comp for me. They can shoot my ass all over the place. And our team uh, is also ranged, so... They have more they have more tankiness than we do. Their team complements all the fat fat people on their team very well. I'm just trying to focus here. And, uh, there we go. Huh? I can, it's been a very brutal match. Really good game here, guys. Like, this is what you call a really patient match. Both teams are pretty even, but they have, they have, they can push really effectively with their team if we're not careful. So I'm just trying not to die. I gotta play, I gotta play more conservatively than normal here, because I'm kind of a weak pick against their comp. It's tough. Take it.
on track five. Pro mercenaries moving out. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That was the wrong pick. Whoops! Get out! Run away! go excellent i mean i couldn't really get a lot of hype moments there but that was a very rough comp for shane that was that was a tough one i was nullified by almost everything on their team but you kind of saw near the last quarter of the match i started just playing a lot of boomerang and uh literally just waiting you know um, I was waiting for my teammates to initiate, and uh, things worked. Sometimes we get put in those situations where you're you're just the odd odd pick on the comp there, and it's like you just feel out of place. I mean, Shane is countered by Isaac, Toby, Montana, <laughs> in many ways. Mo because Montana, because Montana can smash you with his uh, Lumberjack Dash and set you up for getting hit in the face a lot. <laughs> but I, what I, was able, I was able to stop Isaac um, a couple times, so that was nice. The Toby Rage Crit right before the match. Oh my goodness. I built I built twenty seven things. I, I kept building accelerators, and uh, again I couldn't really do much against them. The, the, the comp was rough. Okay. All right, this is my this is, will be my last match.
that was a that was a great game. I was very I was very happy to have played that match because I like it. What? Sorry guys. <clears throat> uh, whooping cough <clears throat> is extremely unpleasant. Extremely. Every time you cough, you want to throw up. That's how bad it is. <clears throat> Sorry for that. I'm trying to meet if I if I have a problem I mute myself. Oh, oh man. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh. You know, guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to end it there. <clears throat> um, thank you guys for stopping by for the stream tonight. Um, I might be on tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream uh, somebody else. Maybe Dragon. Ooh. Maybe I'll get a Dragon stream for you guys. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end it there, guys. This is Cyclone signing out. I will see you next time.